YouTube, I don't know what is going on with this YouTube um, uploading thing here, but I'm pissed off right now, y'all, okay? I just sat here and just did this eye, and I tried to record it, and it did not record. I just, and then I turned around, and then I did this one, and it still didn't freaking upload. I'm thinking that I'm finished recording, and I just don't know what is going on here. Can you get out the video? Go take your stuff in the room. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I'm pissed. Okay? I'm about to mimic everything that I just did. Because this video is going to get uploaded. Okay? I'm using a clean color palette that I bought from my local beauty supply store. Okay? It's a number two. The number two palette. And it's called Clean Color Eye Amazing Deluxe Palette. And it's number two, Awakening Vow. It has 27 chic colors. That's what it says. It provides illuminant choices of eyeshadow colors from subtle to bold, creating endless looks. And that is what I'm using today. I purchased this at my local beauty supply store, and it costs $2.99. So. I eat a little um, bit. Okay. So the colors that I used were... First, let me tell you, I put on, this is Ruth by Ruthless Cosmetics, and this is iFix uh, Eyeshadow Base. I paid about $11, $11.99 for this at Ruthless Cosmetics. And um, this is what I just based my eyes with, and I used uh, my, um, what is this? This is my, see how I'm so messed up here. <laughs> I use my, not my foundation, my concealer, yes, my concealer brush, that's what I used, and then I just put that only on the eyelid, that's it, I don't want to look like a clown, as you can see, it's only on my eyelid, that's what I used, and then I uh, took my eyeshadow brush, small eyeshadow brush, don't turn it up, and then I proceeded, I used white, See, put them away, and then I went here in the in a corner and it teared up. That's what I did. Okay, I'm just mimicking everything that I did. That's what I did. Then I took the orange, the orange, and then I went here. That's what I did. It's the orange. As you can see, I put a little bit of color. I really didn't want to do that. Then I went and then I took the turquoise right beside the orange because I have on orange and then I have one of turquoise in Brazil. So it's my turquoise as you can see. And you see how pigmented that is? Wow, look at that. Wait. See how pigmented that is? So anyway, I had put that on the outer corner. See? And then I blended it in. Blend it in this way. And make sure I took out all the harsh lines. Then I took the small dome pencil type of brush. Dipped it in my purple. This kind of lavenderish purple down here. And then I had put it in the crease. Like so. Like that. I don't mean like so. But like that. Then I went again and took out my blending brush. And then I just blended. Because I don't want no harsh lines. Meanwhile, I was doing that, I was using my compact because I really can't see with this webcam. So, to make sure everything was light and just the way I really wanted it. Like that. Went in and fixed whatever it is I needed to fix. A little more. Put a little more white just to... I did my little brow bone. As you can see, I still did not get my eyebrows done. But that's not going to stop me from, <clears throat> you know, doing my eyeshadow properly. So as you can see, this is it. So this is the white color. This is the orange. And then out here was the turquoise. Okay. And then in the crease, I used that purple. See that? I used that purple. And then here on the brow... I took this 
it's not really a white but it's like a little tannish color and um that's what i use and i just put a little on the on the brow bone and so that's it for this this is really cute and um i like this this is really really nice um on top it appears to have like you know a lot of shimmer when you first use it but then afterwards it's like um sort of mattish you know um i love it though and then i used for the eyelid i used my kiss um liquid eyeliner for right here i'm just going just like this i'm gonna mimic everything because this is going to be recorded okay what get this done and um so I went just like so all the way across okay with this again this is the kiss liquid <clears throat> then I used my Mac uh, Berry Treasures um, eyeliner pencil, and then I just did my waterline. Oops, did my waterline. Then I used my CoverGirl mascara, and everything is just worn off on this poor thing. And if I can see this number. It says very black, 8203, cover girl, black, very black, 8203, cover girl, that's the number, and it's very black, and uh, I just did my eyelashes, and the other side is already done already, let's see. And as you guys can see from other videos, like that purple passion I call myself doing, I really don't like all that loud makeup up here looking like a damn clown and all that, you know. And uh, for my lips, I use this lip gloss I have for a very long time. It's called Amuse. And um, I just took the lipstick. It's like a lipstick, but it's a glossy lipstick side. So let's put some of that on. And then I also went to the lip gloss side and then put the lip gloss on, and which is almost done. <laughs> Talking about abusing and stuff. It's like candy, candy. <laughs> and for my nails, I put on earlier today. This is Ace nail polish that I bought at, it's not a beauty supply store, but it's sort of something called Fat Alberts we have. Is it Fat Alberts? Something like that. And um, it doesn't have a name, it just has a color. Is this a 99 or 66? So this is color 66. Okay. It's like a lavender color, but it's like a glittery lavender color. So basically, that's what it looks like right here. I'm trying to get in the habit of um, doing my nails every week or every couple of days, you know. I bought some um, the cuticle remover from Bold and Beautiful, Bold and Trendy. I'm sorry, Bold and Trendy Nails. One of the young ladies that do acrylic nails on um, YouTube and I also bought her peach um, cuticle oil and y'all let me tell you this stuff works I mean I never really used a cuticle oil before and um, who's at the door but this is what you know I'm using and let me tell you you put this bad boy on and you push back the cuticle you see all that yucky stuff come out it works and um you know and just 
you gotta wash your hands afterwards and um, proceed to polishing and put your base coat on and then put your nail polish on and then put your top coat and put your nail polish um, um, not your nail polish, I'm sorry, your cuticle softener, I mean the cuticle oil, and you're good to go. Um, can you get out of my video? I'm serious. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go sit down and get your book bag. Don't do that, Taylor. Don't do that. You need to respect me. And, um, basically, <clears throat> that's it. So, and as I was saying, this is one of my old wigs. I don't remember her name. I'll tell you what. After I do this video and I take her off, if the tag is still in there, I will put the name of this wig up there. Um, but the funny thing is, I did not purchase this from any website. I bought this from my local beauty supply store. And you know what? I paid $10 for this wig. Come to think of it, I paid $10 for this wig, and I bought like four wigs at that time, and I bought those wigs, I bought, they were like, kind of like, I didn't wear them, I gave them to my mom, I thought it was like 19, ooh, 60, 70 type wig, the part was like over here, it's like stamped over here, short, I don't know, I was not feeling it, it's like you gotta know how to work it, you gotta know how to wear it. Because if you don't, mm -mm, it ain't looking funky. It look so up on the floor on me. Because I don't know about them styles, you know. But, um. So. I'm finished with my little eye tutorial. You know, see. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Okay. Get a little closer. I know that orange looks pink, but it's not pink. It is an orange. I don't know if it got too much light on. Let me turn the light down a little bit. Let me know what you think. But this is how I like my makeup. And I don't have on any... Excuse me. I don't have on any facial makeup. I don't have on no foundation, no concealer. No powder, nothing. And honestly, this is me. I I usually, um, before I even went to cosmetology school, I used to just wear lipstick or lip gloss and maybe eyeliner, not even mascara, you know. And I never wore foundation or anything. And when I started doing that, that's how I broke out, you know, would break out all in my face, you know. And I realize that the older that I'm getting, my freckles come more and more, you know. Sometimes I don't even realize it. I haven't even noticed them, but at times I do. And um, <clears throat> I hate it. I mean, I love them, but, like, when I do realize how much I have, it's like, oh, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I think that, I, sometimes I feel unattractive, you know, but I know I'm a beautiful young lady or woman because I'm a woman. And I'm a beautiful woman, but... Um, I don't know. I guess just, that's personal. <laughs> but, this is the look, y'all. So, I want you guys to rate me, you know, and please subscribe to my channel. Um, once again, I'm just trying to get, build up my little ego, my little confidence, and, um, take it from there. And y'all already know, I'm not really with those, I love the wigs, you know, but I'll try to do some hair, come out, you know, do videos where I do have my own hair out, you know, not always wearing wigs, but, um, this is me for now. And I noticed that nobody's really watching my videos, what's going on? Nobody wants to comment on my little, you know, issues that I want to talk about. I don't think that's right. What's wrong? Ain't nothing wrong with Miss Sheikah. I know how to talk, so. Anyway, ladies, what's up? You know, I did post a, 